Post scent. We gotta sniff. Sniff the outfits. But yeah, this is probably Garuda Tech somewhere. Da language is such a versatile thing, don't you think? Don't you think? The it varies so heavily. And uh, it evolves over the years. And I don't think they were doing it on purpose. Again, a lot of the things that happen in this game, I'm like, I don't actually believe that you did this with uh, intention of being interesting. I think you did this by accident. But we're going to work with it. Because you know me. And you know them. They're just going to roll. One sec. I forgot there was a treasure here. Please don't be a stamp. It's a map! Perfect. I think I forgot this map. Or, like, I, every other playthrough I forget about it existing. Ah! Perfect, though. So we head down here. Oh, wait, no treasure now this this is the money oh no it's a piece of heart that's perfect I needed that I really needed that sorry Midna it wasn't meant to be I died doing what I love getting hearts I do think it's funny uh I I I, I think I forgot to mention it in my distracted phase um, that in um, one sec in uh, that you that in order to get a piece of heart in this ver game you one of the ways is to kill a pig uh, a roasted pig and you get you you get a heart out of it and I think that I think that's just a, a little delight it's like oh you got it from food that makes sense. Oh, motherfucker. I hate these things. They're the screamers. Yum, yeek, exactly. I think I was too busy complaining. Oh, not complaining. I think I was too busy talking about um, how it's weird to kill the animal you're going to uh, inevitably. Oh, oh yeah, this is a little this is a little trick. This take took me a forever to figure out. You got to uh you got to look up. This this part of the puzzle absolutely stumbled people. People usually go out the front door again, but they forget. Well, they don't realize that they they don't look up cuz no one ever fucking looks up. When you look up, you see this and you get in here. And yeah, it blocks the original door in. Oh, rat. Bastards. Remy's gotten too good for the final time. Because of that, you get the path forward. I think if you do this without that, you just get a treasure chest. Which is useful, but not, um, but not the path forward. I think that stumbled me a few times. You gotta look up. This guy's trying to be a lamp. He tried to he tried to hang with the other lamps. Uh You know what would be fucking hilarious in this game? A big t <laughs> big titty monsters. It it is pretty smart. And now it's dead. A fun detail I keep forgetting to show you guys is that um, when you rip out a Poe's heart, um, you can actually hear a heartbeat. It's evil little heartbeat. Uh, also, side note, if you miss the original sniffer, you can sniff this one. It's very convenient. 
I'm pretty sure that's the only reason this room exists. Yeah, we're good to go. Oh, finally Midna ha learns how to fucking open doors. It took a while, but we got there. And now we gotta undo this. I think... Ignoring the fact that transformations would probably cause an orthopedic problem, like, immediately, because of all the stretching and s stuff, and all the... Uh, uh, I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, I, I'm a little sleepy. It's definitely going to be a shorter stream. Now. Uh, this way! Yes, this way. We got a key. We got this. I'm happy Midna learned how to open doors. It took long. It was an uh, arduous training process, I'm sore. Ow. I forgot about these things. Gotta be careful. These, this entire prison, for some reason, is put in a way. Intending for no one to escape, yes, I assume. But... Also, it's a fucking death trap for the people guarding it, too. Luckily, opposable thumbs are the fucking best. You slip it in right here. A bit like a glove. You don't need much when you're really in love. Oh! That's something interesting I could talk about. Have any of you... Ever... Oh, wait. First, um, this is a fascinating little hint to a puzzle that's ahead. You see there's a, tr there's a spiked thing on the side of the room. And it actually holds no purpose. You would think it's just randomly there, it's sort of so, some sort of death trap if you're eager. But in truth, uh, it's just a hint that in the future you'll have to deal with these rolling spike things. Good for her, yeah. But yeah, uh, back to what I was about to say though. Um, if you have ever uh, uh, watched... Um, What's the movie called again? I can't- I can never remember names. Uh, not Nightmare Before Christmas. The, uh, fuck, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't make- I can't recover from that. I'm just going to sink deeper. 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 Huh? <gasps> oh. I'll be fine, though. Um, what's it called? Oh, Corpse Bride. Corpse Bride! Did you know Corpse Bride? And It's just... Yeah. Uh, have any of you ever seen Corpse Bride? And if so, I actually learned a little bit ago from a TikToker, a Jewish TikToker, that that story... I'm back up. I was playing some Overwatch. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I hope you won the Overwatch. I've never actually played Overwatch. Uh, I've never really been in, into multiplayer games. I'm trying to be more so because I have friends now who, can, I, who I can play with. But I've also never been shooters too much. Hi. Yeah. Not really into shooters. But I'm glad you got- you had fun! I always enjoy good games and shit. And I happily enjoy when my followers are having fun. We, uh, were just about talking about, uh, Corpse Bride. Which I learned from a Jewish TikToker has really a fascinating... It, uh... It had. Oh, 
Darn, I'm dying. Has a fat. It has. It's based on a Jewish folk, folk, folklore legend. Um, which uh, I thought was. Oh, that's fascinating. And you know, I like the original one fucking better. I like the original le legend better. It's so much fucking better than the movie. And don't get me wrong, I actually liked the movie a little. I think. Uh, I. In recent years, we found out that, uh, what's his fucking name? The person who made Night- who- whose name is on Nightmare Before Christmas and Corpse Bride. Ah, fuck! I live, bitch! Uh, uh, is, uh, kind of creepy and a little bit racist, so that's sad to find out. Yes, him! We found out- Recently, it came out that uh, he said some racist fucking shit, shit on s on the Nightmare Before Christmas set, and everyone fucking hated him, which uh, fucking sucks. But moving past that, um, he based Corpse Bride on a uh, a Jewish um, Jewish folklore, and the folklore story is fucking kick ass. Um, and it's a shame they didn't use it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like, uh, something I like about the original story is, uh, just, um, uh, not the original story, I should say, the Tim Burton story is just, other than the amazing claymation, is, uh, the, one sec, I'm so sorry, these skeletons, I'm on one heart, so like, never mind, fucking kill me! Just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. You can do better than that. Do it. There you go. Um, it just saves me time. I don't have to hear the beeping noise of the heart. Death isn't really that big of a punishment in this game. I, I, I keep telling you guys that. I don't really need to. Sorry. Book me in the face. Yeah. But uh, it's based on Jewish folklore. And the story, the original story of the corpse bride from that perspective is basically that a um there was a man who uh basically did what uh who's to marry this woman named rachel and they were already uh he he was he was already dating uh dating rachel i don't think her name was rachel i think it was a jewish name at the time but i can't remember the jewish name please forgive me uh so we're just gonna go with rachel just so everyone can understand uh Ow. Alright, let me bomb ya. Honestly, I deserve that. I deserve that so much. I deserve that so hard. But now I'm gonna do this right. I I I I've been I've been lacking my gamer skills, but now I got them back. I, I use my fucking brain now. It's a it's a little, a little bit of a slow charge right now. One sec, I'm gonna switch that combo up. Alright, so... Brain power, big fucking brain power. So, Rachel and... I, I forget who's name. Rachel and her husband were about to get married. Uh, they were setting it up. They were... Uh, he was about to pop the question. And then he does the thing that he does in the movie. And he practices wedding... The wedding on a uh, on a what he thinks is a tree in the movie it's a corpse finger and that he just got confused about but in the original folklore uh he actually he doesn't get confused about it it is an actual tree he didn't fuck it up it's just um it's just a really fucking bad coincidence that uh the uh the tree in the original folklore, happened to be possessed by a fucking demon. A fucking demon. So, the demon is like, Hey, um, I accept your proposal. We're married now. Congratulations. You have a bride. I am a tree demon. Ha ha ha. Congratulations. We will. Ha ha ha. And he's like, Fuck. And in the original story, 
uh, this is where things get fucking interesting. And you would think that um, the demon was like an evil, awful thing. Naturally. You would think that the demon was so fucking awful that uh, everything went wrong. Um, but she was she was very si she 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 was like she she went like this and I I apologize if I don't get the story exactly 100% correct because this is where my memory gets a little bit fuzzy. Um, but she was basically like, hey, um, this is uh, this is the deal as as you are officially my husband to be. Um, since I agreed to our little partnership right now. Uh, you will, uh, have to give me gifts. And the, the guy is like, but I'm going to get married soon. I, I, I was just about to ask my wife, my wife to be out. I was just about to ask Rachel out. I, I can't marry a demon. And you know what the fucking demon says? You know what the demon fucking said? Do you know what the demon fucking says? Why not marry us both? So, so the demon's like, yeah, just marry us both. That that easy solution, easy fucking solution. I'm not a jealous type. Marry us both. Why not both? And you know what? He married them both. It was, it was Polly. It was Polly and Tim Burton was too fucking scared to do the Polly love story. Cause that's what the, that was the can, that is the original canon for that story. That is, that is how the story goes. This is original Jewish folklore. God, I love Jewish people. <laughs> I love Jewish stories, but anyway, it, it's just so fucking cool. It would have worked for the movie, wouldn't it? Both of them are amazing. Um, and here's the thing. Here's what makes it better. She's like, because here's the thing. I will allow us to marry both, but here's the thing. Here, she was like, yeah, yeah, I'll, we can do a poly relationship. I'm cool with that. The only thing is, um, I do want to feel loved and appreciated. So just drop off a gift, like to me at my tree and, you know, visit me and shit. Cause you're my husband now. And um, I'm not the, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I think Polly's a very complicated, uh, complicated thing. Um, but, uh, and it's not for everyone. I think what, I think if you try and do Polly and you're young, you're going to, you're going to end up in a really bad situation, but older people, it's completely fine. It, it's their prerogative. And I just, I just love some LGBTQ nonsense. Anyway, so uh, they, uh, so he's like, okay, yeah, sure. Uh, because you know, you don't say no to a demon. Oh yeah, I forgot. Ghost fucking rats. I don't think I, I am <laughs> exactly. I, I don't think it's a good idea for people who are uh, very young, but I can't make choices for people. One second, these ghost rats are are very clingy. The ghost of the rats that we killed in the past. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh Um there are uh, uh, there's no nice rats in these story. I would pull your relationship with also fair. I'm not afraid. Uh no judgment either even if you were. I have plenty of furry friends. I haven't talked to them in a while, but it's all good no matter what. <laughs> what you say? What you say? But yeah. Um so the so back to the back to the relationship uh in uh the corpse bride so she's technically in the original story she was a demon not a not a dead person uh but 
She's like, okay, I'll marry you. Just give me visit me once a week and visit me like once a week or once a month or whatever, and leave presents for me at my tree, and we'll be happily married for the rest of the days. And you know what? That's exactly what he fucking did, and that's exactly what his wife fucking did. To the point where they had like a little, uh, I think they had a little like sign on the window when she can come and visit. And oh, fuck, I I should not have fallen. That was bad. Oh fuck. Oh well. Fuck. Uh, I can run. I'll run. I'll run. I'll run all the way back. It's fine. Shit. Uh. But, anyway, the poly, uh, the poly demon human relationship kept going, and the and that's basically where the story fucking ends. And I guess that ruins the plot of this movie a little bit. But also. Uh, that's that's it. That's all the story. There was never there's never any bad thing that happens from marrying a demon. It was the fucking chillest fucking demon I've ever did heard of. All it did was uh, ask to be like uh, like remember me, uh, visit me every once in a while, and uh, not only will I. Um, fucking uh, be your wife but I'll also just protect your family so when the when the wife and the husband eventually had kids that demon would watch over the children while they were playing in the yard and protect them and that is the story and that's it that's it that's the whole story and I get it I get it it doesn't have the drama of um, the murder of Emily and all the other fucking stuff but, but, it's just such a cute, it, it, it ended there, it, it, that was it, that was, it's such a cute story. Um, and I find it fascinating that it was a demon. I absolutely fucking adore that story. Uh, again. I get it, it's, oh, fuck, and I did. I got I got too bark happy. I I ran into the bone. The bone was just right there, and I was like, "Borf." All right, I got. This. I did finish the vampire stream. Um. It was. A really good ending. I'm. Oh shit! One sec. One sec. One sec. One sec. You guys. I think you're fading out. Oh fuck! You covered my face. It was really fucking good. I am still doing a uh, a playthrough of it. I am still going through a playthrough, but now I'm doing the modded version. So we're still having fun. I'm skipping over a few things, but I'm gonna do a completely new ending. So. So, uh, no, you're good. You're good, lady. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going to put this. I, I guess I'll just have to put it here like I originally thought. Uh, wait, wait. Actually, actually. Wait, one sec, one sec, one sec. I, I have, I have a, um, where, where the fuck is that? One sec, one sec. Ah, uh, nope, not there. Uh, nope, that's not it. One sec, guys. Uh, one fucking... No. 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 Oh. There. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe... Blop. Maybe... Maybe... Uh, I'm not sure. Fuck, where'd it go? Oh, I know where it went. Uh, loop. Wait, there we go. And I'll move you guys right on top of it. There! Hi, I'm a chat box. Stop moving me around the stream. <laughs> I'm sorry! But you, there, now you have a little, now you have a little spot. I didn't want to do that because I didn't, I didn't want to cover the stream too much. I, I want to find a good place to put you guys. Uh, 
It's a temporary spot. I I think I for these streams they're not good. For the vampire streams they're all right, but uh I decided to do this just cuz editing was just becoming so cumbersome and I was just overworking myself and I need to have a life outside of j just doing Twitch streams and um, my job. So, um I, I, I was like, I'll just put, instead of editing your best comments in, I'm just going to have your, your, your comments are always the best. So I'm just going to have them all in. But anyway, I'm so sorry. I didn't read your, com read your thing. I did hear a different version of the ghost of a dead woman that happened basically the day before the wedding. Got, I messed around to the thing. Little guy, rabbi goes to the court direction where rabbi says, well, that doesn't count till death to you part. The girl, girl wasn't happy, but. They rather had to get a better, better lecture to the guy for fucking around. Ugh. Uh, sad about the girl not getting what she wanted, though. That's this way. Aw, oh, thank you! I think I went- I'm going the wrong way. No, I'm not. Oh, yeah. My life has been a little bit complicated lately. Not that I'm not enjoying being with you guys right now. Actually, take me, take me, take me, take me. There you go. Oh, one sec. I gotta move this. It's not... Luckily, in this... Oh, fuck. Nope. Nope. Luckily, for this stream, it's a little bit easier to move things around. I'm actually... I am making a Discord uh, for a stream. I just... Uh, I'm a little bit rusty on making one. We, so it doesn't have anything in it yet. Like, all it has is me and Lady. And once it's done, I'll put it in. And I do have plans for that Discord chat. Uh, the Discord. Because I kind of want to separate people into categories. Like, not in like a horrible way, more like, um... I want it so that um, you guys, people who want to hear about one certain type of content can focus on that or the other sort of kind. Because let's be honest, my uh, Twilight Princess streams, absolutely, my Zelda streams, absolutely love them. But they're kind of a different genre than the modern urban fan, urban supernatural fantasy of the vampire. I love the fact that there's, when there is crossover, but not everyone's going to want to visit this one. Can I be the human flesh? <laughs> No, you can't. No, I refuse. No, no ways. You, you are a beautiful, beautiful little, um, <laughs> I, you are a beautiful being. I associate you with the deer face emoji. I'm going to be honest. Uh, it's the first thing I think of. You can be something else, something else. You're, you, you, you can be anything, um, anything else. Um, <laughs> yeah, whenever I see you, I think of that, that emoji face <laughs> right there. That's, that's you. That's you in my head. You could have a human physical body. I don't care. That is what you look like to me. You're just a deer <laughs> waking that face sitting in front of a computer screen. <laughs> I'm so sorry. How are you typing? It's literally how you look. Perfect. I love it. Um, but for uh, <laughs> uh, what? Oh yeah, I forgot I can do this. You can get a better. Oh, I forgot, lady. You can get a better look at the vaginas now. Look, see, there they are. Oh, too far away. See? Now you can get a better look at them. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they something? I, I, I did this for you. No problem. Go get your snacks. I'll talk about this, Gord, when you get back. Uh, I'm so happy that I was able to provide you, pro provide for you, lady. I gotta provide for my, for my lady. Oh, I, oh, I missed a chest. Maybe. Maybe? Did I miss a chest? Uh, it says the chest is... Oh, 
I haven't gotten to it yet. I need to lift that up, but I don't think I can do that. Oh, I think I can. Never mind. Come on. Come on. Come on. Lift. Lift with your legs, boy. You are strong. And it will be a st <laughs> Lady, why are you cursing me? Why are you cursing me? Is it because... Is it because I showed you the vagina in more light? The disrespect in this chat right now. Absolute fucking disrespect. You didn't think you would be- You cursed me, lady. You cursed me. I'm not gonna make it. 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 I'm making it. I made 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 it. I did it. And you cursed me. Yes, you did. Oh wait, that's not the way I was supposed to go. I'm just, I'm just a dumb, I'm just dummy thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I am dummy thick. It's this way I'm supposed to go. I literally, it's literally right there. Okay. Ah. Fork. This way. How are you stronger as a wolf? Owie! The vagina bit me! Uh... I could- I should tell you- It ag again?! It bit me twice! Well, two different ones, but it's- it's two different vagina monsters. Can I just say... I wish I could be as flexible as Wolfie's being right now with his back. Like, those arches. Just let it come. Yeah. Does a little, like... Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll need to be a human for this. Ah. Uh, and I need bombs for this. This dungeon must have been absolutely terrifying to go through as as Twilight. And if you didn't know, that would rise again unless you blow up and shatter the bones. Now, which would be a fun and terrifying sight to see, but, uh... We don't got time for that. We're just gonna keep it moving. God, handle the Discord is gonna be a little bit overwhelming. Worth it, but overwhelming. Because one of my main problems is I have to switch everything over to my alt disc Discord account. And for some reason it's not switching. It still has my main one saying I'm going live and I don't want people bothering me on my main account, you know? I mean, I, I guess I'll switch over if I have to, but it's a little bit of a pain. Now, I forget this puzzle entirely. I think there's like... It, it like... Yeah, it shows you. It goes, he, this guy swipes out that light and that light. And that closes the door. The rest of them are not necessary to light up, I think. Rose very still. It's you're not you're not bothering me at all. Uh absolutely not at all. I've been meaning to do the Discord this Discord for a while and I I you're just reminding me that I got to I just have to figure out how the fuck to get it working. Wait. 
That didn't work. Fork, fork. Maybe I should just die. Maybe I should die. Your raspberries still have seeds in it. I'm so sorry, Mar. You are cool. You're very cool. You know, one second. I just gotta die real quick. Just let the sands take me. Sands have taken a while. Oh, it's gone. It's good. We're good. We're good, guys. You have returned! You returned with your raspberry problems. Anyway. So I want to make my Discord. I want to make it so... Uh, uh, I don't want to use my main account. I, uh, my main account is for my... Um, Oh god, successful. Uh successfully considered committed the unaliving. Uh, yes, yes. Uh sad I'm gonna make ramen. That is not a sad thing, that is a happy occasion. Make that ramen. Maybe I should light up everything but that one, I think those two. I can't remember this puzzle. But anyway, uh, the Discord is going to be, um, I have everything separated into, I want to separate into the Zelda category for, uh, people who enjoy Zelda and, um, the, what's it called? And the vampire ca uh, category for my vamps. Oh, to do. Oh! Hello! I assume you're one of my ghosts! How's it going? Thank you for joining the garden! Can you do every category? Of course, of course! Uh, I'm gonna ha- once I figure out how to- Oh, shit. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die for these pots that I want to smash! Uh, once I, um... Uh, I'm gonna have it so- You know in Discord how you can just like pick up a roll by clicking on something? I'm gonna have it the categories separate separated by roles and you can just click everything. Uh, everyone will get a no notification when I'm live, of course. But um, I wanna uh, make sure that uh, like if people wanna chat about what happened, I don't want people who wanna chat about what happens in the Zelda stream, I don't want ne them necessarily to uh, if people don't want to hear about like the vampire shit or they don't want to hear about the Zelda shit, vice versa, I want them to be able to switch. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. And if you want both, you can get both. It's good. Um. Because I understand. Uh, vampire the Masquerade. Complete. What? I play fantasy games. That that is my forte. That is that is my fucking. Be that that's my fucking beach in a barrel. Bitch in a barrel? Is that actually even a saying? It is now. Bitch in a barrel is now a saying coined by me. <laughs> the master of the English language. <laughs> On oh, sec, gotta rip the fucker out. Yeah. Pull with the teeth. I claim it. I claim bitch in a barrel. I'm sure. Watch actually it be a saying. Oof! Oof! Your dad, your data got ripped. So the mirror story, and my data got. Well, good for you. We're gonna go and we're gonna fucking finish this. I want to be the master of the English language. Oh, well, we're gonna, we're gonna. I'm gonna help you as much as I can with the English language, uh, if I can. <laughs> Uh, if hear if hearing my stream and my fucking voice helps you helps you be better at the English, I will fucking help you out. Oh, you know what? Here's the first thing uh, I'm gonna teach. Well, not the first thing. Here's the thing I'm gonna teach you in English, and um, I apologize only somewhat to uh, my UK, particularly my British audience. But I've discovered something on Twitch and I want to share it 
And this is a great example of what not to do for the English language and what the British people are doing incorrectly. And I know what the British people are going to say. We invented the language. Well, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, this is very important. <laughs> I've discovered that... <laughs> I need to say it. It's fair. Uh, the British have made things very complicated for a lot of people, so we... <laughs> I need to stop chopping vegetables to stay. <laughs> Fair. Okay, again. Uh, where am I going now? Oh yeah, I'm going back to the front. Oh wait, no, not the hole, not the hole, not the hole, not the hole. I went into the hole, I died. Oops. Alright. So, I've learned that the British, uh, when you're uh, ordering takeout, which is, um, I I'm fairly sure you guys know what this is, but I'm going to explain this to you as if you were a child, just in case. Uh, again, I, I assume you do, but yeah, just in case. Takeout, which is basically uh, taking out food, um, ordering out for food instead of sitting in a restaurant, you just, ah, darn it. You, you, you order food out, uh, order food and they deliver they either deliver it to you or you pick it up and that's takeout uh it's wonderful i've just discovered and uh not just me a bunch of people have just discovered that uh british people when they say that they've gotten takeout um takeout food they instead say i've gotten a chinese or i've gotten a i've gotten an italian or i've gotten a uh gotten a uh I've gotten, I've gotten a Mexican. They say, I've gotten that. Uh, and then they say the race of the people, which, uh, please don't do that. The A, if, if you say I've gotten Chinese food or I've gotten, um, you don't even have to say, uh, I got, I got Chinese is a completely fine seconds. But when you add the A in there, uh, I've gotten a, uh, it makes the A, personalizes it and makes it sound like hey uh, i got a person it, it makes it sound like you said hey i just got this random chinese dude off the street <laughs> so try to uh if you're talking uh in those particular connotations don't use a a usually refers to um it doesn't necessarily re refer to a person normally but um Oh god, I'm not good at teaching English. But it it can when in the wrong sentence. <laughs> okay, Mark, please uh tone it down just a drop because I do want followers. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> you got the point, good. I'm so sorry I can't teach you uh, I can't teach it proper. Just, it's a very careful English example that a lot of people are getting real uncomfortable with and uh, I think it's important that since I learned something I should share the share it with the class yeah okay fucking they serve oh you saw the tiktok too they do serve it with french fries uh I have to say, in my full offense, I have been to Chinese restaurants in the United States that serve french fries. Uh, I, I believe I actually once got onion rings with my, with my Chinese food out of sheer and utter curiosity. And I did get food poisoning, so I, I think that does say something. <laughs> I, I did get food poisoning. <laughs> it's not regular in, in in the states to have Chinese food with uh, with uh, onion rings. I, I I'm gonna say that right now. It but I did find a place that did that, and I did eat there, and I did get sick. <laughs> in my defense, it was a I I was real hungry that day and. Uh, it was the only place open. I think it was like a holiday. 
And I wasn't in the city. And that's that's my biggest problem. You want good uh, food, you go to the city. Say what you will um, about uh, New York City. And a lot of people have said it. Um, said awful things about New York City. But I... I, I <laughs> the face, yeah, no, it's only something that can be spoken of and not typed. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. I think I'm supposed to go down. One second. Oh, wait, no, that's up. That's up. I mean, I can check in here. So, I will say, um, as someone who... I don't live in New York, like I said, I... And uh, you might uh, ask, ask, why do you keep bringing that up when saying you, uh, you're you a New Yorker? Because I am a New Yorker. I live in New York State and I, um, and my, I have family from New York City. And uh, my, uh, my family lives in the Bronx. We know they're all the best places. I am so, that is so cool. Um, one sec, one sec. Uh, this quicksand is far too fucking quick. I'm gonna die. I actually can't. You know what? Let let's let it take me again. Let it take me. Let it take me. Just go. I I hate the beeping sound. That is um. There are so many good places in New York City. Um. And a lot of people. Um are scared of uh, New York City. They say it's too loud or it's uh, it's just a scary fucking place. And, or they see, uh, they very much base their idea of New York City on like the vampire game I was playing. Like everyone's shooting everyone. There's gang violence everywhere. Uh, and I think that's actually a really, it's really annoying because that's not New York City at all. Um, and it's a, it's a misconception that I think, um, I think has been very much made by, uh, southern states of the U.S. So, uh, actual and promoted because, uh, everyone likes drama, but actual New York, we got food everywhere. We're we're filthy. We 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 do we're covered in trash. Uh, right, that is actually accurate. But we've got amazing food. We have uh, our violence in comparison to other states, like not that bad at all. To give you an idea, uh, there are twice as much violence in twice as much violence in. Um, Texas then in comparison to New York you are more likely to get shot in Texas um, but my impression plays kids so I have my own misconception yeah that that's the thing if you go by superhero movies you're going to think that New York is like a pile pile of crime when in truth New York is really honestly fuck Fuck, uh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it, so I might as well just do this shit. Come on, rats, come on down to get into my fucking belly. It's very much, um... If I want to give you an example of New York City, because it, it's a very complicated matter. It, explaining it in a single sentence will will never do it justice because we have like ratty shitty places but we also have really nice places but the really nice places are kind of shitty because a lot of people ended up getting kicked out of their houses or apartments in order to make those really nice places so um it, it has a very fucking bittersweet look it's much prettier now but at what cost the city itself has 
so much diversity and fun. Oh! Brady Cardio 3! Hey! Hey! How was the stream yourself? Hey, Raid! Oh my god. Long time no talk. By the way, by the way, thank you for that. Um, I did watch the clip. Oh, shit, shit. One sec. One sec. The clip you took of my last stream. Uh, shit, I still don't know how to pronounce your fucking name. I apologize. Because you've been an absolute delight. And I actually, I, every time you come in, even if you're just ghosting, because you don't talk, you don't always talk when there's people in chat. I absolutely adore you. And, um, Polly, Polly, so the P, oh my god, I can't think of it now. I'm so sorry, but I absolutely fucking adore you and um, just want to thank you so much for the, oh, I thank you, I adore you. You deserve it. You deserve it. And thank you for that clip. It was fucking hilarious. I, I did not even realize that I was just asking someone to piss. <laughs> it's hilarious. I'm definitely going to put that on my uh, TikTok once I make, once I finish making everything up. Up for it. But yes, yeah, just uh, thank you. We uh, we're here talking about New York City, and uh, we're also uh, traveling uh, through a, through a temple. Uh, oh, phew! Phew! Free at last, glorious! You're the nice fellow who had me out the other day. Nice to see you again. Well, now that you find each other, now stick. I'll be right with you, so you know when to warp out. Uh, everyone, we get a different angle from the six booted, the six, one, two, three, four, five, six, the eight breasted bird. Glorious, isn't it? Stare at its wonder from a new angle as its eyes that look incapable of blinking. <laughs> Stare all the other way. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. Um, but yeah, I've completely lost my train of thought. Absolutely, completely. It's fine though. I'm, I'm sure I'll figure, I'll figure out what I was going to say. Uh, oh, see you lady. Oh no, you messed up your Robin. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Did you put too much ginger? I accidentally put too, some, too much ginger sometimes and it gets all clumpy. Ow! Uh, oh, you did? Oh no! Oh no! There's a little trick to these enemies, side note. You don't even have to fight them. You can just leave the bomb and just fucking run. Oh, I died. I put, you put too, too much chili sauce? You love ginger? I thought ginger's good, don't get me wrong, but uh, it gets, cl if you put too much, never enough chili sauce, that's true. There, there is never enough chili sauce, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> but uh, I have made the mistake of um, putting too much ginger and having it so it gets clumpy. And I've also made the mistake of putting too much uh, uh, onion powder, which you think? There's never enough onion powder. I've learned that that's not true. You can actually put too much onion powder. And this happens. Shit. I guess I I thought I could have sworn I could have sworn I could have done that. Oh well. Bombs away. But we love onions. We do. We always love onions here. We all love onions. I I say that. But here's the thing. If you put too much onion powder and you don't mix things properly, what will happen is you'll get powdered clumps of onion. It, but it doesn't taste like onion. It just tastes like powder that's been clumped up. It's awful. And it's so sad. It's like you ruined a good thing. You somehow made an amazing thing worse. Awful. 
and you feel so ashamed. Now, the easy solution is just to like properly mix the powder mix the onion powder in so you don't. But I have made that mistake too many times and it just it destroys the dish. Uh it makes the soya base taste odd. Yeah. Uh sorry about that. Oof. I, I now I want ramen. Oh man. I love ramen so much. <laughs> Darn it. Oh, uh, we'll just keep going. I can eat later. I can make some ramen later. And you still eat it while crying a single tear. Yep. Yep. Um, how do I go next? I can't remember where I'm going. Oh, right over here. Right over here. My bad. Oh, wait. Never mind. We're not going this way. I lied. I lied blatantly to myself and others. This is the part in the game where everyone usually gets lost, and I seem to be no fucking exception. What? I, I must have missed a room or a chest. Okay, um... How did I miss? What did I miss? How did I miss it? I fucking love bell peppers. Bell peppers are fucking underrated and we should all love them so fucking much. I, I did miss a room, I think. I think, yeah, I missed a room. It's this way. Easy fix, easy fix, easy fix. Don't worry. I have a deep ab abated love of bell peppers in my soul. As you fucking should. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I did not respect be bell peppers as a child. I didn't. I it, one of my biggest uh, one of my biggest shames in life is I didn't fucking respect the bell pepper. I thought it was yucky. I was a fool. Absolute fool. It literally is. And I, I... I didn't respect it. I didn't love it like it should be loved. Fuck, I think I locked myself the fuck out of this. Ow. One sec, let me get these fucking bugs off me. Easy. I think I accidentally locked myself out of this... And I'm out of this, but I think I can fix it. Where's the unwell button? As a child, I love bell peppers now. I love them now. As a child. I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. I have to do something. I, nobody wants to grill them, file them. Exactly. Exactly. I understand. I understand now. I didn't know back then. I didn't. I was- I'm blaming the autism. Autism made it harder for me to try foods. And my par and my family was not big pe bell pepper fan in the past. My, and my dad let my mom dictate the cooking. And my mom's an Italian woman. Uh, Italians, good food. Not as much bell peppers. The curse of autism. Which is really shame because I missed out on so much Colombian and basically just, uh, just like- South American cuisine. Unfortunately, <laughs> we can tell you like the musket. Oh my god, congrats. Good job inventing time travel only for that purpose. Alright, I'm gonna have to do something nobody wants me to do. I gotta talk to this thing. And I'm gonna have to leave this place. Viva the floating head. Pepernita? Uh, I have no idea what it is. What? Let me let me read that, because I'm so horrible with reading things. I might know this. In which case, I'm trying to make a list. In of... which case, I'm trying to make a list. Of... In which case, I'm trying to oh, make shit, a list. Shit, 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 of... shit, ah, to oh shit, 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 shit. Fuck! I was in a time loop there for a second. I'm... Ah, ah, ah. Uh, uh, did you guys hear that? I'm so sorry. We're good. We're good. I'm I'm looking up. I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. What did I miss? Oh my god! I never had that. I never had that. I never had that. I missed out on Pereira. I, 
I just eat fried bell peppers. I've never had that. That is actually very important. If you guys, I've been looking up recipes that I that I um absolutely need to try. Tomato, tomato, chili bar. Yes, I will. I'm adding. I'm. This is a list. This is a list. Uh, my my autistic ass uh, and my dad not being as not thinking it was important made me miss out on so many so many Latin American foods that I should have tried. Literally, I I have a list of uh, just Colombia Colombian food alone that I just need to have because you know. Why the fuck haven't I had something that my family has made in the past? Only this year, uh, past. It's like, I missed out on something and I never questioned it as a child. I never questioned it because I just wanted the same thing over and over again. Because I, I was an autistic kid. How was I supposed to know any better? To give you an idea, I keep telling her, yummy food, vacation, good shit. I understand. It makes sense that it was good, sh good shit. People do not respect, um, uh, people don't, uh, in the States, they do not respect, um, uh, some foods enough as they should. We, I think we're better than most, uh, most, um, what we consider, I don't want to consider us European states, white-centric states. We're better than most, but I think we're still pretty bad when it comes to food, and I think we need to be better, guys. We need, we, there's so much good food. We, we're <laughs> The bar is low. The bar is so low. We're better than the British, and I'd like to think we're better than Spain. Uh, though Spain, again, has um, upped us again on giving, uh, on giving those with periods um, time off, time, le time leave, which makes them better than all of us for a little bit. And I hate it, but such a good idea. Such a good idea. I would totally take the time off if I could.